Josiah with Arduino Inventions. Welcome back to another video. Uh, today I'm going to start a series. This is going to be part one of a series that I'm going to call Getting Ready for Christmas Lights. So um, the series will show you the progress that I've made on the project. Uh, so in part one today we're going to mainly look at the wiring in this box and how it all works. Uh, we'll also look at some other stuff too, but let's get right into the video. So here is the box that's controlling the lights. If we take off this cap, and this just uh, makes the whole box watertight so no snow will get in. Uh, here is all the magic of the project. So we have the Arduino down here that's really controlling the lights. Then we have the the blue relays here. And then we also have all of these outlets. And these outlets are where we will plug in the lights on the other side, as you can see here. So we have eight outlets, but then there's two on each one. So we have 16 total channels that, of lights that we can plug into those outlets. So this whole thing, wiring, is a little confusing. So I'm going to draw up a schematic for you guys and show you just one channel and how that works. And then basically that's just multiplied across 16 channels. First, we're going to start with all our components. So we have our Arduino, we have our relay, and then we have our outlet. So first we need the data cable coming into the Arduino and that's what's going to come in from the computer and that's going to really tell the Arduino what pins to turn on and when and really going to tell the Arduino what to do. Our next wire is going to be control power to the relay from the Arduino. So when we send 5 volts from the Arduino, this wire uh, will make the relay flip internally. So keep that in mind. The next thing here we're going to draw is our outlet that's going to really feed the lights. So this is going to be 115 volts. So we have our neutral and then we have our hot in red. So our neutral is black and our hot is in red. And that's going to be 115 volts and that's what's going to power the lights. So we're going to carry our neutral all the way over to the outlet. Power the outlet neutral right there. So uh, all the way across there, and then, but the hot sides are going to be a little different. Those are going to go to the relays. So we're going to take the red hot, and we're going to take that into one side of the relay. So now one side of the relay has hot power coming into it. And then we're going to take the other side of the relay here, and we're going to uh, put that to the other side of the outlet. So now those red wires are not connected right now, as you can see. But then, when the outlets or the uh, relay switches internally, it will flip it. So when we give 5 volts to the relay, it will flip. And then these two red wires that were previously unhooked are now hooked together inside the relay. So we have our neutral coming across. And then now when the relay flips, we have our hot sides connected and the lights will turn on. So with the one relay that we had, now we just have... 16 of them and they're all wired the same as the schematic uh, we've just jumpered the hots to all of them and uh, all the neutrals up here jumpered so it's just like the schematic but just pretty much times uh, 16. <laughs> uh, so then a few other things to note uh, I put a fan over here since we have a lot of relays and some electronics in here that could uh, get a little uh, toasty in here so I have uh, this cord right here and it is plugged in to this uh, split over here, this green thing right here. So I have a white power coming into the box. I have uh, uh, this to power the fan. This white uh, adapter is powering the relays to switch since the Arduino can't switch them on its own. And then this cord right here is actually uh, powering the lights to uh, light up. So that's that and we'll move on to the next thing. So uh, last but not least, let's talk about the FM transmitter. So this is an FM transmitter here. Uh, it has a little antenna on the back, and what this is going to do for us is it's going to transmit the audio signal to cars out uh, out on the street. So uh, this ha here's the power cable in the back, and then we have the antenna. Uh, it says off right now. If I uh, press on, I have tuned this to 99.9 uh, .9 here and that's what I'm on right now. I can switch that if I want to. This has a low power and a high power. I can also switch that too if I want to. You can see over here I have my volume and then my audio input is right here. I also have a mic but I found that that doesn't work too well. So, 
So we can plug in this audio cord. And then with the other side of the audio cord here, I'm going to plug this into uh, my computer. So back to when I was talking about the data cable going into the Arduino. So that data cable is going to go to uh, a computer which is running a program called Vixen. So Vixen is a program that uh, is just like a light controller. It's going to make it a lot easier for me to program the lights so I won't have to sit down and write Arduino code. Instead, I can look at it. Instead, I can look at it visually and just see it all with Vixen. Vixen is really nice. I can see a schematic of the house and see how it's really exactly how it's going to look. And it will literally uh, schedule my shows for me and uh, the audio output of it, which this is going to be plugged into, and that's how we get our sound. So it will be sending data through USB to the Vixen to turn the lights on and off at certain times, but then we'll use this and plug it into the FM transmitter, and that will get the music signal out to the people in their cars. I'll do one last uh, big overview for you guys of what's connected to what. Uh, so we have this white power cable coming out of the box uh, right here, and this would be plugged into an outlet outside. Uh, the other thing that we have coming out of the box is this black cable right here, and that's our data cable from the Arduino, if you remember. This computer has a USB port over here, so I'm just going to plug it in over here for now. And then uh, lastly, from our FM transmitter over here, we have our audio cable. This computer has a headphone jack uh, right there, so we plug that in. Uh, so that's the whole setup. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please consider giving it a like and subscribe. And I'll make sure you won't miss any more content on this channel. I'll tell you if you subscribe, uh, I'm working on a video right now of a Coca-Cola vending machine. Uh, so if you'd like to stay tuned on that, click up here, subscribe. And if you'd like to see my last video, click over here. And see you next time.